Hey, Dad, there you go. <laughs> Amen. What an amazing night. You know, Prophet Kevin just said something to, to Darlene and to Bob. He said, God wants you to know that he believes in you. You know, when you believe in Jesus, you get saved. But when you realize that he believes in you, you get transformed. And some of you, many of you, most of us in this room, we believe in him and we know we're saved. But some of you tonight, you need to hear him say that he believes in you. Because I believe the Lord is taking us as a church from a church of transition into a place, into a church of transformation. For the last many years, this church has been in transition. We, we've been in that place of becoming. But now I believe the Lord is bringing us into the place of being. Being a house of transformation, being a place, a light in the city like never before. And I believe this, that a door can open, but you've got to choose to walk in it. And I believe that many of us have been standing in front of an open door. And we keep turning to the door that's shut behind us. And we've been mourning the door that's been shut instead of ex expecting and celebrating the door that's in front of us. And some of you right now, you need to let go of the pain of the past. And you need to let go of the fear of the future. I believe right now that this is a season and a time where the Lord is saying in these last few moments of 2016 that you need to wrap some things up. That there are certain things that cannot move with you from where you've been into where you're going. And I believe this, that tonight some of you are about to be moved in the spirit from your waiting season into your deliverance season. As Prophet Kevin was preaching a little while ago and exhorting us a little while ago, Here's what I felt like the, door, the Lord said to me. I'm moving you from the waiting room to the delivery room. Some of you have been in that waiting process. I, I fly a lot. I flow over 300,000 miles this year. And sometimes what happens is when a weather system moves into an airport or there's congestion flying in, they put you into a holding pattern. And you're in the right vicinity. You're in the right airspace but you can't come in for a landing it's a frustrating place because you've arrived but you've not arrived yet and what I feel like is the, the where many of us have been in the spirit in this house in this moment is we've been circling we've been circling the promise we've been we can see it but we haven't landed there yet and many of you right now are going from the waiting room into the delivery room how, how many want to have some of that tonight Come on, where you have been in that place. Here's what I believe. Some of you are about to make up for the last seven years. Some of you from 2010 to as we enter into 2017, it's been the cycle of struggle. You've had repeat after repeat after repeat. And I felt like the Lord said that he's breaking the cycle. He's breaking the old cycle and he's ushering us in to the brand new. As I was spending time with the Lord today, he, he gave me this word for this new year. He said, hope is rising on the horizon of this new year. Embrace the winds of change as you are embraced by the God who never changes. Your future is in the palm of my hand, says the Lord, and I've set you in motion towards the miraculous. Do not let the disappointments of yesterday stop you from the divine appointments of this new day. I'm setting you up for victory and have positioned you underneath open heavens. Breakthrough is awaiting you as you let go of every weight that tries to hold you back to the past. Step out in faith and step into this year being fully persuaded that I, that I not only keep my word, but I watch over it day and night and I am careful to perform it. Keep your eyes fixed on me and I will cause you to walk into the unknown with confidence and assurance that I am watching and ordering your every step. This is a season of renewal. I'm renewing my covenant with you and building your confidence in me. For I am about to prove myself to you like never before. Miracles are waiting for you around every turn. So let fear go and let faith arise. Many of you are about to come from behind and go into the above and beyond. As you look out at what lies beyond this point, you will be greeted by the image of my glory. 
As you enter in, you will find that every process that you pass through has brought you to the place of my grace and my glory. Now you are on the brink of seeing great things fulfilled right before your eyes. Filter out the distractions that rob your time, steal your peace, and stop your joy. Be still, stop, take a deep breath, breathe me in, and listen. There is no striving in the kingdom, so rest upon my promises. The nations are about to hear the sound of love and the melodies from heaven that will bring them out of darkness into the marvelous light. The pain of the past will be washed away by the sound that will be sung from the heavens to the earth. The earth shall quake from the sounds heard from heaven and will respond with gladness uh, of the rebirthing that I will do in this time. So open your eyes and open your ears that you may hear what I am saying to you now. For I will directly speak into your lives and answer solutions and resolves will come with the sounding of my voice as I speak to you during this season. I'm restoring love in my church for the foundation, uh, for the basis and the foundation of all things. This love will be rooted, grounded and planted in those who represent me. Do not give up and do not let your hearts be troubled. For I'm about to do great and mighty things. For I will work through love and my love will draw many into the kingdom. My love will heal, my love will restore and my love will purify hearts. It will lead and guide many of those that are lost and crying out in this season. So get ready, says the Lord, for I'm coming to do something that you've not seen before and you will not be able to figure it out. For I want to use you to awaken this city and the nations to the Father's love. It's time to expand and go beyond what you have ever dreamed possible in your lifetime. For I've woken you up and I'm putting you on the cutting edge of the new thing that I desire to do in this city and in the nations of the earth. I've stretched out your, I've stretched out your comfort zone and positioned you to host an end time move of my spirit that will turn the hearts of this city and even the nations to me. You've been chosen as an oasis of love, hope, and healing. Miracles are about to multiply in this place and in the marketplace. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that I'm calling you from where you are into the beyond. It is time for you to leave where you've been to go into the beyond. For the Lord says, throw caution to the wind and do not be afraid. For my voice is hearkening you into the unknown. For it is time to launch and it is time to step out. For you have been stuck in a season of fear and you have been stuck in a season of waiting. But now I'm calling you from beyond. I am no longer where you were. I am in the next place. And the Lord says that I'm about to give this church an Ebenezer moment. I'm about to give you a moment filled with miracle markers. I'm about to give you a moment filled with miracle stones where you will pass by this moment. You will remember this day and you will say, we remember how the Lord crossed us over. For indeed, says the Lord, for many of you in this place, tonight marks the end of your personal drought. For the drought is over. The drought has over. Get ready to be saturated by my spirit. Get ready to see me do what I said that I would do. In the past, you heard me say, look again and look again. For I have hidden some things for you for this moment. I did not allow you to see them then. For they were not for then, they were for now. And the Lord says that you're about to see what I've said built. For the things that I've hidden, even the very foundation of this church shall be built. And I saw the Lord giving us tool belts in this season. And I saw him rolling out, uh, blow, blow, uh, rolling out blueprints. And I heard the Lord say, get ready to build and get ready to expand. Get ready to move to the right and to the left. Get ready to possess the north and the south. For the Lord says that this is not a season of cutting back or a holding back, but this is a season of advancing and accelerating my kingdom forward, says the Lord. For you are standing now in the place of breakthrough. You are standing now in the place where I am calling you into what you have never seen and what you have never known. So get ready, says the Lord. It will not look like anything else, for you've never seen it before. And I'm about to mark this hour. I'm about to mark this day and this time in this house. It is not a return 
return of what to what used to be. But it is a it is a going forth into what has never been. For the Lord says that I have strengthened you for the journey, and I have provided for you in the wilderness. But now it is a season of crossing over, says the Spirit of the Lord. Come on, how many people believe the word of the Lord tonight? Listen, I believe this. That it is not just corporate, but it is personal for you. That there are some of you in this place that God is about to invade your business. He's about to invade your marriage. He's about to invade your finance. He's about to invade even the mental state of your mind. And I believe this, that there are some of you in this place that you have been in this warfare in your mind about trying to grab a hold of things and trying to figure things out. And it's not going to be able to be figured out. It's going to simply be a matter of trust. God is going to take you from a season of, of, of testing to a season of trusting. I believe that in this last year and in these last couple of years, we have been going through a major test in the spirit. Where we've been tested to see how, uh, how we can handle authority. How, how many know that God has given power to every believer? Jesus said, all power in heaven and earth was given to me. That which he had, he gave to his disciples. And we got it from Jesus. Do, uh, are you hearing me tonight? Power is given to everybody. Jesus said, and these signs will follow they that believe. In my name, they'll heal the sick. In my name, they'll cast out devils. In my name, uh, they, they'll speak in other tongues. Power comes to everyone who believes. But authority comes to sons and daughters who know who they are. And I believe this, that God is bringing many of us back to the place of the foundation of the Father. And I believe that this is going to be a year where we're going to see our Heavenly Father manifest Himself like never before. And I believe this is going to be a season where God performs a miracle in the lives of men. That we're about to see the Lord release the, the Father's heart in this city and in this nation like never before. Come on, are you hearing me? There's an authority that's coming in this place like never before. Number two, I believe God has been testing us with favor. If you have favor on your life, but the people around you aren't any better for the favor that you're carrying, how many know you're not carrying it right? But if you've got favor on you and it's spilling out on everybody around you, how many know God probably wants to release more to you? Come on, some of you, you've just been walking through a season. It's just been a test. And I believe this, God's about to test, has been testing us in this third area. It's the area of resources, it's people, it's places, it's things, it's, it's resources, it's finance, it's all of those things. Because I believe this, that God is about to release a strategy and a plan to build what he said from the beginning. Come on, I believe right now that we're crossing over into miracle territory. That we are stepping into everything that God said. And what seemed like a trickle, I believe God's about to release a river like never before in this place. I believe right now that God is about to release a mandate for the multitudes. I heard it come on Pastor Darlene tonight. And I believe if what Kevin was saying, how she didn't just get a word, but we all got a word tonight. And God wants to release the faith for multitudes. He wants to release the faith. Come on, I believe right now in this place, some of you are about to be stirred again, that you're not going to be able to sit. You're not going to be able to stop. I believe right now God's about to feed you something different. How, how many know what you eat affects what you dream? And some of you have been feasting on agony, gloom, and despair. Some of you have been feasting on the negative. And it's causing you to dream negatively. But I'm telling you right now that it's time to feast on faith, hope, and love like never before. Come on, don't, come on, this is not a season to be discouraged, but this is a season where God is about to illuminate some things for you. You're about to be, you're about to go where you've never gone before. I believe this word tonight. I don't just believe it's an encouragement. I believe it's a mandate. I believe that the Lord is saying there's an open invitation. He's the God of the open hand tonight. And he's opened a door, but will we walk through it? Here's what I heard the Lord say, and I'll hand it over to Pastor Lynn to bring us into the new year in a second. I believe this, some of you are about to go through the back door. I have a, a friend who, her son, their, their, their son wanted to go to Oxford University, prestigious university in England. And he applied and, and got denied. I'd given him the word that they were going to be able to get in. They called me. They said he got denied. And I said, God wasn't going to, the Lord gave me the word that he wasn't going to go through the front door. He was going to go through the back door. Because in my mother's house, 
Guests always came to the front door, but family went through the back door. And that the Lord was going to bring him through the back door. All of a sudden, about two weeks later, they got a phone call and a full scholarship. And Elijah actually got into Oxford University and set the highest GPA, set the record for the history of Oxford University because he had a word from God. And some of you right now, you've been frustrated because it seemed like one door closed. And I'm here to prophesy to you tonight that God's about to give you a family backdoor deal. That you're about to go in through a whole different door. You are looking at one door, but God is about to open something completely brand new. Because it's not just, listen, I believe this, that family came before kingdom. Are you hearing me? He announced himself as a father and a son. Family became before kingdom. It's why the local church is so important. It's why it's so important to belong. And I just believe right now that God's positioning you in this place because he's about to bring you through a completely different door tonight. It is a door of favor. It is a door of blessing. And it is a door of miracles. We're on the threshold of it. But you've got to choose to cross over. As Pastor Len gets ready to come, I want you to stand at your feet. If you've been standing looking at the open door, if you've been afraid to go through, I want you to stand to your feet right now. And by you standing to your feet, by you beginning to move right now, you're about to move into this word. And here's what I believe. The words over this church, the words over our life are about to become a part of our life. Let me say that again. The words over our life is about to become a part of our life. And right now in this place, Come on, some of you, you need to step forward. You need to step side to side. But there is something changing right now. There is something changing. I heard the Lord say, daughter, I brought you to a mirror. And as you looked into the mirror, you said, this is not who I am. And then I began to tell you who you were. And the Lord says that even tonight, as you're watching the happy couple be commissioned, the Lord says that I have a turn for you. And I have a time for you. And the Lord says that I have a commissioning for you. And the Lord says that I've anointed you to set the captive free. I've anointed you to bring healing to hearts in 2017. And you've been kicked out of places and you've been rejected in places. And I, but the Lord says I've called you to the place of calling and choosing. For I chose you for to this place and for this hour and this time. And the Lord says that I'm not ashamed of you. And I'm not afraid of you either. I'm not ashamed of you and I'm not afraid of your questions. But the Lord says that this is going to be a season where I'm about to release a prophetic word in you that's going to begin to shape the history of many people's lives. I looked at you earlier and it reminded me of something I told the youth a few weeks ago. The Lord says, don't judge people by their history. Point them to their destiny. And what I felt was this, is tonight, God's about to give you prophetic pictures of your destiny. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, fill her with hope, fill her with awe, and fill her with wonder. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, we're going through. We're crossing over. We're moving into miracle territory. Breakthroughs at hand and every word that he's spoken. Come on, I believe we're about to step in a place beyond visitation into habitation in 2017. Lord, would you build your house with us? Heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool. But who will build you a house? And Lord, we say we build you a house, Lord, with open doors. We build you a house, God, with open doors, Lord. And we declare right now that your kingdom is coming. That, Lord, there's about to be a family invasion of the kingdom of God in Pensacola, Florida. Lord, would you take these words tonight? And Lord, would you take those words over our life and make them a part of our life? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.